Hello everybody and welcome back to Secret of the Magic Crystal. We are here again with the full channel conversion of two only horse related games. Isaac Repentance has been cancelled on my channel and we will from now on be playing this game and this game alone, at least until we find another just thrilling horse related game that can top this one, which I don't think is actually feasibly possible. This game is the best game ever released. For those of you that are new to this series, new to this horse related channel, I would highly suggest you check out my other videos on this game. We have we have a very long running series. I think this is probably around part like, I don't know, like seems like about part 2300 of the series. We've been going strong with our uh, our horse related content. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's Secret of the Magic Crystal. Let's get on back into it, and and yeah, let's uh, let's get ourselves a good horse going. So we've we've as you've seen, we've been building up our gold. We've been doing all right. We're gonna we're gonna have a little look around, but we've been we've been doing okay. Two hundred and twelve gold. I feel like that's pretty good going. Uh, we're gonna see if we can upgrade our stable. We don't quite have enough for that yet. What can we upgrade? Three hundred. A. Hey, it's snowing. Great stuff. We can hardly afford to upgrade anything. We've not got enough money. Oh my god, Big Wang Horse, our our normal horse that we use every day. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. Uh, let's jump into the blacksmith and see if we can create some good stuff. Here he is. Look at that fella. Look at his glasses. He, he knows style. Big Wang Horse, he knows style. Let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. The recipe was hidden um, in a hollow of a big old tree in the middle of the forest. Oh damn, we found ourselves a new recipe. We can... That one's 204. That's a lot for a recipe. Should we seek for new horseshoes? Probably so, right? Probably so. Like, new horseshoes would be pretty good. Um, let's maybe check out on the smeltery here, the little, the little forge. See if we can do much with this. Come on, forge. What are you doing? Look at our little uh, little flowers going on there. I think, I think Big Wang Horse is really coming to his own over these past few thousand episodes. But yes, let's uh, let's invest, shall we? Let's invest. We got ourselves some new shoes. I think that's given us some extra stamina. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's head back to uh, the main area. Um and we'll uh, we'll see what else we can do. Maybe go to the stable, see if we have any new customizations for our horses. That would be that would be really really good. We've actually done a nice amount of customization on our room here. Let's uh, let's get some feeding going, shall we? And there you go. Have that. And I'm going to I'm going to scrub you some as well. I'm going to scrub you some. Oh, you love it. Oh, Big Wang horse loves it. I like the feather as well. The feather has been a nice addition we've made recently. Love it. There you go. You're all nice and clean now. You're all scrubbed up. Use the small brush as well. And let's have a look what else we can do here. Um, okay, apparently we can't even afford that. That's a shame. Uh, we do have one first place medal. <laughs> and one trophy. We're doing well. Here's our shop though. Uh, we can have a look at, little look at some customizations. We're not really unlocked too much so far. Sadly, we've only got one pair of funny glasses. Only one pair. How sad. But I'm hoping... That we can unlock some new absolutely dank customizations. Because so far, we've not really got too much. Uh, we've customized pretty much everything to the uh, to the most of our ability. Um, we're going with oak wood at the minute. We bought that for 66 coins. And as you can see, this, this oak wood bucket has a dexterity of four. So that <laughs> that's always good. Gotta have a, a very dexterous um a very dexterous bucket. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you're gonna do without that. And we've got uh, Onyx here. We don't quite have enough for our Onyx one, but we we have our Black Marble one. Onyx one, as you can see, a real step up. Very, very amazing. We we very much want to save up for that. That would be great. Uh, let's let's check out what else we've got here. We need to do some um some some horse breeding at some point uh, and get ourselves some new fantastical horses. But for now, I think um, I think Big Wang Horse is doing real good on his own. We're going to do a little bit of training here, I think. Um, let's go. The forest course um, changes our stamina, dexterity, and speed. So let's go train. See what we can get done. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's get ready. Are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? Do we, do we remember... Do we remember our skills? No, we don't. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at that. A fantastic jump by Big Wang Horse here. And yet another. 
fantastical jump. We are jumping over and up. My God. He has the absolute style and physique of the best horse of all time. I cannot believe it. What a majestic beast this is. Oh, no. He stumbles. He falls. But he carries on. He powers through. He's really, he's really got that, um, that dexterity that we're looking for and the ability to take a hit and just keep on going. I cannot believe it. And if you guys really want as well, I'm thinking of doing a really in-depth tips and tricks video for this game. Uh, I know we've been playing it on the channel for a long time now, like three years pretty much. Uh, but I think that it's getting on for about time that I uh, that I really get into how I perform such precise and and difficult actions with, with relative ease on camera here. I'm sure many of you are, are, are quite baffled by the skill that it takes to... Uh, to finish finish a course like that with with only minor mistakes. I mean, that's an 88% perfect rating. We didn't get any boo, and we got some perfect. So <clears throat> that's kind of the sort of the sort of stuff that I feel I can I can help with. Let's uh, go to the obstacle course as well and see what we can get going there. Uh, I'm sure that this will be vastly different from the last mini game that we just played and really teach our horse some new things. As you can see, uh, this one really takes a different a different skill set. A really, you've got to you got to use your mind and use your use your brains in a completely different way and, and really teach your horse how to do something completely new and unique. Um, and again, I think I'll do a separate tips and tricks video for this mini game. Probably, I don't know, br breaking down. We'll probably have to break down each jump and specific action. Could could be around a 40 minute to two hour video, I'd say, uh, for each different game. Uh, just to make sure that you get the most out of your uh, your horse's actions. Because as you can see, this is some like actually top tier gameplay. We've got some we got what what all perfect so far. I don't think I don't think that's ever been done in the history of this game before. Um and Big Wang Horse known around the entire Magic Secret of the Magic Crystal scene as one of the best performing horses of all time. So we obviously have to kind of go into depth about how how we reach this level of excellence. I don't I don't think it's something that many people really understand. There's a lot of depth that goes behind this. I mean, we've got to talk about the the 3,000 plus hours of training that goes into this sort of gameplay. I mean, you you really can't. You can't fault it, look. We're at, what is that, 100% A? We get ourselves an A stamp from the little dude. Uh, and then we're just going to do one last game, the uh, the dressage course. Because, again, my horse is exhausted, so we can't even dressage. Or oh, the sledge pull. My horse is still exhausted. And that's unfortunate. Big Wang Horse, he, he's, he's good. He knows what he's doing. But, unfortunately for him, um, sometimes he does get a little tired. But... We will alleviate that, but for, for now, let's see what we can get here. We can maybe get some potions going on, uh, brew some of them up. Not quite got enough yet, but um, ah, sadly, yeah, N not enough gold. But we can we can heal up our horse another time. Don't worry. Um, and let's have a little look, see what we can do here. Mortal and pest, pestle and mortar, even. Don't think there's much we can do with that, unfortunately. But our our big one horse is looking at it quite a lot, so our stats are running a little low. But I think honestly. Honestly, looking at looking at how we're doing right now, um, we could probably head out and go on a little race, maybe. Um, of course, you guys know, the main meat and potatoes of this game really comes with the racing, the online racing especially. Uh, we can do a few different things here, but let's let's take a look. We can gallop um, area cup for uh, cup condition for the fastest horses, or we can go for a multiplayer race. Let's go for the area cup. I mean, honestly, I think we're ready. We're going in for another another set of galloping again. This is where this tutorial and this skill set will really prove itself to be valuable because there's going there's going to be quite a lot of gameplay and intense actions that the player has to perform to make sure that you can win one of these intense competitions. It really does take a lot of practice, dedication, and skill. As you can see, twenty seconds left on the clock. We're we're, we're counting down. We're going, we've, we've, we've done many different things. I mean, the, the actions might be happening so fast that on the screen, it doesn't look like anything's actually happening and it doesn't sound like I've pressed any buttons, but that's because the actions are being performed with such precision and so quickly that we won a cup. And, and that's just kind of the pro players that you're going to see here. We, we come out and we end up, we end up making, making quite a lot of money in, 
what seemed like a relatively easy uh, action, but actually that was one of the most difficult things I've ever done. So we're going to go for another one of those because, I mean, why not? Uh, being able to, on camera here, prove the that the hours of dedication I put into this game were worth it is, is really rewarding. So we're going to do that. And as you can see, yet another 30 seconds on the clock and really got to focus up here. My commentary might not be great, actually. I might have to just quiet one minute, quiet down a little sec because I've really got to put put my all into this if we're going to make the big the big win that we need. I think I think we're going to get this one we're 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 doing well. The galloping's going good. And as you can see, 10 seconds on the clock and it seems like we have the win secured. Let's have a little look see if we did. Let's have a little look see. And we want a cup. Yet another one. Great stuff and that's going to be another 50 gold we are making bank so let's go out we're gonna do some multiplayer racing and see what we can do um let's have a little look see here so let's go with quick race and oh it seems that there's not many people online right now unfortunately that is a that is a shame. Normally these servers are absolutely packed with people, but I I, I am playing at um, at midday here, so I can maybe understand that some of the other casuals that that aren't really dedicated to their craft, maybe maybe like going to work and making money, and and trying to trying to do enough to 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 get by and live. But I mean, I'm a dedicated person, and I really do believe that if you want to be the best. You have to play Secret of the Magic Crystal at all hours of the day and night. It's it's an absolute requirement. But we're starting in uh, just 15 seconds here, hoping we get at least one online player, but it's looking unlikely, unfortunately. It's, it seems that all these these casual Secret of the Magic Crystal players just don't really know what they're missing. Um, I, I, I can't believe like people don't have this on their laptop at work just to get in a quick race to practice, you know? We're starting up the, as you can see, We've got some some pretty some pretty dapper looking guys around here, but they've they've got nothing on us. They've got absolutely nothing on us. Let's go. We're still eighth right now, but that's uh, par for the course. Oh damn, I've I've crashed. But I'm using the rest of the horses as a bit of a, a guide. Hopefully, I was hoping to get an item there, but not quite. I still think we can do this though. We've got um, we've got plenty of speed. We're taking the inside line. Holy shit! You see that pathing there? No one has taken a corner quite that tight in in many hours. I I don't know what item I got here. Um, I don't know what item I got. I got the uh, the, the tree. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. So we are still quite far behind, unfortunately. Uh, things aren't going too well for us. But you know, there you go. We'll grab that on there throw that on you we'll get a bit of a boost there and we're taking this inside line again Ooh, this one is a tight corner as you see everyone kind of messed up on that one but don't worry we got this again and that's gonna that's gonna take away any negative effects from us so if anyone tries to do anything to us we can kind of counteract that as you see we're pulling the inside line again oh my god we're, we're, we're doing it we're doing it we've, we've taken the grass a little bit slows us down just some small amount but i think that's not a worry we've got our healing our healing leaf once again we'll keep that in in tow just keep it there and hopefully we'll be okay we're, we're moving on to lap two and we're just about to take first position if we can just take the wider line on this course and maybe cut inside these guys i think we've actually got this yes we have we've cut inside oh and that is a perfectly executed turn there perfectly executed we've got some buckets lay those down that'll hopefully slow down a few of our competitors and again we're going to take the inside line here not as close cut as last time last time we did maybe cut that a little too close again we'll line the inside line there with a few buckets because that definitely slows down the competition and we're taking the wider line but the victory is all but assured and there you go 50 gold we've done it we've un unlocked the achievement racer and star which of course i've had many times before but we're playing on a relatively new save file so that's why they've, they've come up again. But that was pretty good. Just under two minutes. I think that might be the world record for that course. That's uh, that's 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 pretty pretty impressive, really, isn't it? Um, now that course, of course, a classic. But we're gonna go on to the um, Osset Road and see if we can find any any more competitors. See if we can find anyone to challenge us this time. Because I I really I don't see how um, how anyone could possibly possibly stop. Uh, 
stop by and just try and beat us. It's it's not going to happen, is it? But this course, of course, known, known around the community for being one of the trickier ones, but of course, that's no problem for Big Wang Horse. He, he knows exactly, exactly the lines to take here. And there's not much competition for him here. So this should be yet again another easy bit of gold. But hopefully soon we'll find we'll find a true competitor, someone that can really, really go against us in this. That would be quite interesting. But for now, we push forward on our own path. And let's go. Hopefully we get some better power-ups this time as well. Unfortunately, last time we got kind of the worst set of power-ups. But here you go. Everyone's ready. And this is a tight inside line that we've got to take right off the bat here, which is a little unfortunate, but we should get the edge, I think. It seems that we actually did get the edge. Okay, so we do have the speed boosts here. We're definitely going to try and use those. And we're even going to try and cut inside here and drop a few of those directly on top of our competition. But as you can see, the, the nature of this course, we've got a lot of wines and curves that are very, very hard to take at high speed. So you've really got to be careful. We managed to get that guy, actually. I think he uses herbs, though. Um, and this is this is one of the corners that really messes up a lot of the new players. But we've done this many times before. And unfortunately, we've been slown. That's no problem. That's no problem. We, we, we should be okay. We used our buckets there to stop getting overtaken. But it does look like we have someone right right following behind really close. But we're back. We have, we have uh, almost completed the first lap. There you go, we have. We completed the first lap. Let's grab our boost again. This boost is certainly a tricky one to take because you've got to really take it quite wide. And then the speed boost, it carries you so far around the corner. Now, as you can see, this guy just overtook, overtook us quite immediately. But we should be just fine to, um, to keep moving forward. And again, this is a really tight corner. So we can use our water buckets there. And we did... Oh, no. We've made, a, we've made a crucial error here. Crucial error. It's okay. It's okay. Um, oh, no. The slowdown coming in. That's terrible. Someone in last place is getting a bit salty and using those against us. We did take the inside line there, though, as you saw. Like, I don't think I don't think he was expecting that at all. Uh, we keep touching the grass a little bit here, which is definitely slowing us down. But Big Wang Horse doesn't play by the rules. He, uh, he, he very much tries to... Um, very much tries to play the wrong way. Uh, we're going to use the um, the outside line here and sweep inside. We should have the speed to carry around this, these, these two corners here. Uh, we did indeed. And we're going to bucket all of this. And that should give us a massive edge. I'm really hoping it does. We're getting mainly buckets here. I think I dodged. Yes, I dodged that bucket just nearly. But I did touch the grass. A little bit of slowdown there. A little bit of slowdown, but the buckets go down once more. And it looks like we're going to be rounding off this final lap with a victory. We just got to make sure we take the proper line on this last turn here. But it looks like, it looks like we've got it. There you go. We come out with yet another victory. Uncontested. Sadly, that is not a world record unlike the last track. That's only 2 minutes 28. Record for this is 2.18. So we're a little bit off there, unfortunately. There's definitely more time we could have gained. Try and maybe do one of the ultra shortcuts in the next one. But let's go to the crystal crystal area and see if anyone else is willing to challenge us this time around. I don't know if it's quite going to be the, uh, the the stomping that we got last time. But compared to the first level, the the, the, the other horses, they were, they were close. They were certainly close. Didn't quite get it there. But we're moving on. You may notice a uh, slight, slight little bug in the game, actually, that the uh, the intro uh, cinematics that are playing behind right now are the same as the ones for the last level. That's because they're actually wrong for the last level. That's a little bit trivia that not many people actually know. It's uh, a really, a really small little bug that, that um, the devs seem to have missed that only true fans would really be able to tell, I think. Um, so it's not that big of an issue, really, for the for the for the common player, but for for the pros, they notice it. We've got, got 10 seconds left moving into this last, uh, second to last race, actually. We've almost completed the, the round cup. It's not, not an official cup. We did a few of those earlier, of course. They were, uh, they were a lot harder, but in this cup, we're, we've got two races left, and we're about to go on with them, so let's, uh, let's see how this one goes. This one should be, should be kind of a slaughter. This, this one, I remember, it's got, like, 
Obviously, we've played this quite quite a few times, but this one's got one of the, the tightest corners in the game. And of course, unfortunately, um, Big Wang Horse, he, he has better turning, but his initial acceleration really doesn't quite cut it on this level. We uh, we end up missing out on a good few uh, a good few turns right off the start, but we make it up later on tenfold. This corner here, of course, amazing. We did unfortunately miss out on the uh, on the better turn there. That was something we probably could have taken. But honestly, I'd rather just build up our speed here and take that turn when we've got full speed next time. As you can see, every single horse here crashes into that corner. Now, that's a common issue on this track. That's the corner that we're able to take a little faster if we uh, if we prepare ourselves. Uh, we're going to grab the speed boost here. We're actually going to try and grab something in the back here. We've got ourselves this. Oh, I used that a little bit early. I tried to preemptively pop it. I was expecting one of those coming out from us there, but unfortunately, these guys just kind of, they were kind of ready. Uh, but we should be okay now, so this is really where we've got to be careful. Grab that. We're going to book it right here. That should hit two of those guys. A nice slowdown on the competition there. And we are coming up to the big turn. Let's let's get ready. Let's prepare. Um, we're going to take out the outside line here. Very important. And you've got to cut it very, very, very hard to the right as soon as we get around this next turn. It's it's a bit of a difficult one, and not many players can actually achieve this. But we can see. I actually got double hit by the slowdown there. That could that could definitely be a problem. But the slowdown does enable us to take this slight shortcut and grab that speed boost that not many players are able to get. Unfortunately, we got slowdown once again, which is really, really not doing well for us right now. Grab some gold there. And we'll keep on going. We're still we're still in the lead. Second lap, of course. Um, but I don't know how to feel about this race. This one might be one that we struggle with a little more than usual. Luckily, the slowdown actually little bit of a of a top tech tip here. The slowdown, if you if you manage to get hit by it at the right time, can actually allow you to um, to take some corners that wouldn't normally be takeable without crashing, um, and you can actually keep a lot more of your speed going into it, which is just it's 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 really how you play this with uh, with precision. We come around the corner again once more. Passing through here. Beautiful. There you go. Look at that. Now that is a speedy turn around there. Very speedy indeed. Okay, this we're, we're going to be coming in a little fast here. So I'm a, I'm a little worried. I'm going to try and keep it as wide as possible. But we've got to really be careful on this next turn. Of course, it is the big sort of 360 loop. So it doesn't matter too much. Oh, we've done it. We've done it. Oh my god, that was perfectly played. A very, very difficult obstacle to uh, to pass by. But that speed boost is surely going to set ourselves away from the rest. But no, no. Big Wang Horse, he's, he's made a he's made a just gigantic error. The turn didn't happen quite as it needed to. We've lost a lot of our initial speed. We're going to have to take this boost. It's a bit risky, but we need it. We, we, we're ahead, but only by a fraction, only by a hair. Oh, my God. This is really been a true test of our skill. Oh, that's a tight turn there. We, again, we lost a lot of our speed there, but the speed boost is in. It's in. We got it. We got it. My God, I can't believe this. This is a race like no other. This is really some top tier play. You don't see this very often, but there you go. We passed the line. 352, that's a, that, that's, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good time. Not quite the PB. Not quite the PB, but I'd, I'd say that that there is uh, is something that we that we really do want to see. We're going to go Underwater Cave as our last one here, uh, because really Underwater Cave is where is where all the skills and all the tips that I've got really come into play. They really they they, they really um, go full force, and this this is where everything everything I've learned over the thousands of episodes I played of this game culminates and becomes becomes actual like strategic and it makes for the advantage on this level and getting the win here i mean it's it's something that not many players can do i'll say that for a fact it's it's really not it's very very difficult for for many people to uh to to have the ability to get through this one with a first place medal but big Wang horse he's done it once before and i'm sure he can do it again 
He's getting old with age, but he's uh, he's he keeps on trucking. He keeps on trucking. Right, let's go. We're ready. Let's hope we can get um, some magic crystals or something similar for our upgrades right off the bat here. Um, we've actually got a prime time spot here. This is very advantageous for us being directly in the middle here. This downward slope, of course, gives you that extra speed boost that you want to see. We're hoping for a power up there. We didn't quite get one, actually, uh, which is a real shame. A real shame indeed. But the underwater section is where Big Wang Horse really excels. Like, we are going to absolutely say we, we hit that wall but that's actually a tactical bank we we wanted to do that to slow down to get this turn at, at, at the at the premium speed that we need and as you can see that's actually sort of propelled us into the first place because everyone else crashed on the second corner unlike us we crashed on the first one skipped the second one and we've come out of it much 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 better off we've actually gained a significant lead already which is fantastic we get an extra speed jump there look at that little bit of a boost now, as you can see, this track, very, very short, but this is why it's so very competitive. This is why this one is in the tournaments. This one is the is the one that you see the pros playing, because the, the short length of the track, the tight corners, and the uh, the strategic speed boosts really make for um, a very well-balanced competitive track. But we're, we're getting taken over. The inside line, no, no, we've taken a bucket. Okay, that's actually a perfectly timed bucket, though. Don't worry, don't worry. We took it at the exact right time there. It may look like that was a, a big detriment to us, but we took it with just enough time to slow us down enough to take that corner. And that's actually another strat that you see the pros using. My God, that was unintentional, but well-timed. Well-timed indeed. We're still rocking first place here. Coming up on our second lap, we're going to grab the speed boost real quick. That one is a bit easier to grab than the first one. The first one can be a little tricky, actually. As you can see, we haven't managed to grab it once yet. But we will we will hopefully grab it here. Let's see if we can get a power-up that's really going to propel us into full force here. Unfortunately not. But I think as well, the, um, the positioning and the amount of uh, power-ups actually really helps to balance this track. Uh, this is this is bad. We've uh, we've taken we've taken a, a massive hit. We've missed the speed boost, but we've hit the corner perfectly. This guy has not, so we should be able to take the inside line here, and indeed we can. Buckets are everywhere. This is another big big trope of this track. The bucket traps are very dangerous. Uh, the they usually line that exact area because everyone plops them down as soon as they grab them. Same with here as well. So we're gonna fill out that area, and this should, as you can see secure as the win very difficult track but we actually managed to do it just in time and there you go we grab the bubble and we end out this track with a time of two minutes 38 not perfect definitely not a world record but we're doing pretty well there that's that's pretty good very very nice we're gonna we're gonna leave out of that and we're just gonna make sure we tend to our horse's needs after that just fantastic display like that that was unexpected how good that was but we come in with 208 gold once again we uh we are making a good amount of bank like that's a that's that, that's a good amount to earn in such a short amount of time uh we really do need to be getting some upgrades going once we can once we can get some upgrades maybe maybe we'll uh step into the stable and let let our fellow rest up and eat and then we'll go for a few more a few more challenges uh that could really propel us into excellence with those upgrades. Um, so you grab both of those, shall you? There we go. There we go. And then we'll actually... You're, you're looking a little bit dirty, so we'll... Grab a few of them bits off you. Don't kick me. You love this. Right. Grab some of that. Okay, I think you're looking good now. Let's grab some more food. Nice one. And a little bit more water. We're trying to fill up this bar here. There you go. I think we're good. Let's, um... Let's back out. We've actually got 308 gold now. As you can see, just from tending to our horse... Oh, that's, a, that, that's not a horse. There's our big wang horse. Right, go back to the farm. I think it's time. I think I think we can um, we can upgrade. We're, oop, we got some luck. Very nice. Um, we're gonna upgrade here. I think uh, the next level of the gates enables you to take more dangerous quests and qualify for better races. There you go. That is exactly the sort of stuff we want to see. So let's hop in here. 
It's just upgrading. Give it a moment. Let's enter. And now, this is where the real stuff starts. This is where we can really get some stuff going. So we can go for the gallop. The weight pulling. Obstacle race. Let's go for the weight pulling. Let's see how you do there. Of course, yet again. Gonna be, gonna be a lot of premium focus here to see if we can get this done. With just 37 seconds on the clock. That is... That is crazy. As you can see, this 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 um this mini game is really really well developed, and the gameplay is quite complex. You've really got to keep your mind on it, and you've really got to pay attention to to what's happening on screen, because otherwise you might miss it. Um, everything's happening so fast paced, but if you if you do pay attention, we might be able to get the win. I don't know. Big Wang Horse really doesn't have the strength to to win weight pull. He's he's mainly a speed horse, but. We can see, maybe he'll pull out the victory and get a trophy that's uh, a little... There you go, look, won a cup. Unexpected, but that is... That is something that's great to see. We're going to go for the obstacle race now as well. Because here we can we can really show those precision and perfect movements that we were showing off earlier. Because that's kind of what counts. That, that, is, that really is what counts. It's what, it's what we need to see. It's what we have to see. Um to pull out the big bucks and we need we need the money to uh to keep upgrading uh of course this this um this little area we've got here it's got plenty plenty of upgrades left to get even that that's that's one of the big things about this game to be honest after thousands of hours there's still plenty to do gameplay is is thrilling uh exciting and there's there's never ever a dull moment um you've got you've you've always got something to be doing so it's it's just it's why it's why we're still going for this long um, I mean, some some might find it hard to say, but this game is is truly, truly a masterpiece. And we're gonna go for one more on the show jumping, and then I think we're uh, a rather difficult part coming up. Oh my god! Losing energy while approaching, he's crossing to the next fence. He's now in first place. Oh my god! Is that it? Did he win? Oh, he's on the clock. He's on the clock. Okay, we just gotta we just gotta wait out the time and see if we can get it going. This could be it. This could be it. This could be the race, the show jumping that we've been looking for. We're gonna check out the online races and see if we've unlocked any of the new levels, but I'm not sure if we've quite reached that peak, that level of uh, excellence quite yet. I really don't know. I would expect I would expect we were, we're a little ways off of that at the moment but there you go two seconds on the clock and we've come back with a cup there you go first place as always big wang horse undefeated in his time and let's have a little look see so we didn't actually unlock any of the new any of the new racing areas unfortunately um it's now winter as you can see um and we will go for the steep uh, the, the, the steeplechase challenge let's go with it one more it's turning inside and here comes Big Wang Horse. Big Wang Horse is now running well. Big Wang Horse is now in the first place. They continue on the far turn. He's weakened and he's on the outside. They come in to a far turn. He's weakened. Oh no. He's now running well. He's now making some progress between the horses. On the outside is Big Wang Horse. And here comes Big Wang Horse. <laughs> Big Wang Horse is now running well. He's now in first place. He's now running well. Oh I know he's weakened. On the outside is Big Wang Horse. Big Wang Horse is weakened. Trey's on the outside. He's now running well. He's weakened. No. They continue on the far turn. He's now in first place. Back in back in front. Back in front. He's now running well. Weakened on the outside. He's turning inside. He's now in first place. Okay, here we go. Running forward. Oh, he's weakened once more. He's now running well. Oh my god, and here comes Big Wang Horse. He's turning the inside. Oh, but he's weakened once again. Running forward. And here comes Big Wang Horse. On the outside, it's Big Wang Horse. <laughs> it's now in first place. He's standing inside. And here comes... <laughs> Does it ever stop? Is it just going to keep doing this? <laughs> Does this ever end? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, fucking hell. 
Oh my god, there you go, 30 seconds on, 37 seconds on the clock. <laughs> oh, my fucking life. 28 seconds on the clock, we're doing well. This really is some top tier stuff we got going on right now. I think, I think we're about to win. It looks like, it looks like we're coming home with yet another medal. And I think that's going to end up leaving off this truly brilliant episode. And like I said, kicking off this channel really into another 2000 episodes of this game and this game only with only horse related content being uploaded of course oh my god oh beautiful beautiful stuff another another win and there you go that is just fantastic we head back to the farm holy hell and yeah that's that's gonna that's gonna do it for this episode guys i hope you guys enjoyed of course, fucking April's Fools. You guys knew it, but <laughs> we played this game now for three years in a row, every April's Fools, and it's hilarious. It's so fucking funny. It's just the most dumb running joke of all time, and I just love it. <laughs> this game's fucking stupid. Oh my fucking life, this game's so dumb. <laughs> it's just, it's like a mobile game got shit on and then mixed with Mario Kart. I love it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.